Right on, moving on. We all know how expensive it is to buy a house in Auckland. It's tiring, we know, for the people in the promises, the people down south. Please stick with us. We apologise. But it's actually got to the point now where some Auckland parents are starting to save for their kids when they're still toddlers. I know, very scary stuff. But there's more. These parents, would you believe, have also discovered another way to help their kids an interest free loan. Here's Heather to see Ellen. By the time these kids start buying houses in Auckland, imagine how pricey they'll be. Well, hopefully not that much, but then who knows? What we do know is they will all want their own house. It's a lot cheaper than having rent, and you can't get kicked out. That's true. Unless you don't pay a rate or something like that. Yeah, Joshua's thought about it. A lot. And so he and his six, yes, six brothers and sisters are already saving to buy their houses one day. Now these kids are smart. They know Auckland's houses are way overpriced. And they also know there is another killer. Mortgage interest. Check this out. Joshua's mum and dad. They needed 200k to buy their house. Now, if they borrowed it from a bank, the interest on that would have blown the loan out to, by the end, $518,000. Yep. That's okay. amazing, yeah. right? Yep, they already knew that. That's why they got an interest free loan instead. It's great to see, you know, when you get the statements, uh, I think every year or so, the principal just reducing so much so quickly. It's just wonderful to, um, you know, when you've got the bank mortgage instead in the statement, it's like, yeah, I'm hardly making a dent. Do we know the feeling? So Ross and Francis' loan, they got it from a Christian outfit called the Liberty Trust. Bruce started the trust. This is a photocopy of his plan when he first thought up giving out interest-free loans. $55,000. Yeah, because this was for Fikatani. And obviously a gazillion years ago. Yep, 1988, just after the stock market crash. Interest rates were about 16% and people were hurting. Bruce, being a pastor, wanted to help. So fast forward 25 years. He reckons they've helped 330 churches and families, not all of them Christians, and they have $10 million being lent and relent right now. I love what's happening here. Yeah, this is... Uh, you know, I think all of us live with a dream, and I guess this is a bit of a dream for me. Now, as with everything, it gets a little complicated. The interest-free loan, not totally cost-free. It works like this. You start, like the kids, by putting money with Liberty Trust for 10 years, whatever amount you want. After 10 years, they count up what you've put in, and you're allowed a loan worth five times that. But you don't ever get your initial money back, ever. Still. That, plus what you borrow, works out way less than a mortgage would. Loads of people will look at this and say, oh, this looks dodgy, it looks like a Ponzi, Ponzi scheme. scheme. Yeah. yeah. I think we've had all of those kinds of Is accusations, it? all of those kinds of things have been said. No, it's, uh, I think it's as safe as houses. <laughs> but words are words, the best proof is an example. Lisa and Tom, they own a nice house and they're really young. I'm just 28 this week. Yeah, yeah. and yourself? 31. Lisa started saving with Liberty Trust at 15. Actually, her dad started saving for her. Recognise dad? Pastor Bruce. So half Lisa and Tom's loan is with the bank, half is with the Liberty Trust. That bit with the Liberty Trust, they'll have paid off in seven years. And with your bank mortgage? It's 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> when these two have kids, they reckon they'll start them saving quick smart. And yes, Aucklanders, I know you're wondering, so I'll tell you. Tom and Lisa bought the place for this much, now it's worth this much. Ross and Francis' place 12 years ago was this much, now it's worth this much. And that, people, is enough to make you start saving. Certainly looks like they're onto something there, I think. Now, you might um, have a look at that story and think, have I seen something similar to that? Well, Heather actually did a story earlier this year, and that was on a savings pool group, but that was a much smaller scale. So, yeah. not, when, when, I think you remember there was a, a woman who had a $6,000 bathroom. We're talking like, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's an mortgages. incredible idea, isn't it? Would you consider something like that for your daughter? Oh, goodness me, I can hardly pay my own mortgage. <laughs> but <laughs> I have thought about Kiwi Saver for her. Because it's going to be so tough later on, yeah. and she might just be living with me till she's 30 at this rate. So. Oh, great! Yeah. Oh, you look forward to that. <laughs>